to Modular Classroom in Internet Basics video series. Today we will see program 15, 16, 17, 18. All these four programs are related with Google Sheets. So our first question is to create the sheet to illustrate simple mathematical calculations using Google Sheet. And 16th question is to create a student's internal math statement and to share that Google Sheet via link. And 17th is a question to create different types of charts from the internal mark statement that has been created. 19th question is to create a particular internal mark statement and you have to download it as a PDF or .xls or .csv files. So all the four questions are, we are going to concentrate on only one concept by creating an internal mark statement and applying some simple mathematical calculations by using that mark statement. So we will directly enter into the demo. From this Google Apps, you can click and choose Google Sheets. You can create a blank spreadsheet. As I have already created one internal math statement by giving the heading and the class name and the register number, name and four subject mark I have entered here, English, C, Digital and Maths. You can include the subject that you want. One more also like Tamil or Hindi or French, you can include one more column also. But for this demo purpose, I have only created four columns and for 10 students, I have created a math statement. I have just entered the marks. The first question, 15th question is to create a Google Sheet by using simple mathematical calculation. So first I'm going to apply a simple calculation like adding, I'm going to add the total mark for the particular student uh, register number 1000. So in this total column, I'm just clicking equal to symbol. And as you see, auto suggestion is being asked like press enter to select the suggestion sum of it indicates the column e8 to h8 automatically it gives you the suggestion and if you need or if it is the suggestion that has been given is correct you can just click on that so that the formula enters here and you can click on enter once you click on this enter button you can also see another autofill suggestion by asking that particular calculation can be applied to all the select rows that has been existing in that particular table. You can also click the stick mark or you can click con or press control plus enter key in your keyboard to autofill this suggestion. So I'm going, I need one way to total all these marks. So I'm just clicking this tick button. So this particular total of all the four subjects mark will be added and summed up like this. As you can see in the formula bar, it gives the summation of all the four subjects. So I have applied the formula addition or sum in this total. And next calculation is going to apply percentage. So I'm just clicking on this percentage and I can ask this average function to apply average. So average of this subject divided by four Mark divided by four subjects and I can click on enter and once automatically like in the previous column total it gives an auto suggestion to autofill the percentage. Here also I am just clicking on the stick mark so that a percentage of this particular students can able to retrieve it very easily. So simple calculation of total and percentage I have done and I have prepared an internal mark plus. So I here I can give the heading as CIA. And I can able to give give this heading bold, and I can also increase the size, and also I can if I need I can also able to change the color. So once now I have prepared the uh, internal marks list by giving this the student name, register number, subject, subject marks, and I have found the calculation by totaling and by finding average. So the first part. There is 15 question has been completed and second 16 uh, question in Google Sheet. There is 16 question is to share this particular sheet with via a link. So before that I can I can able to 
save this sheet in the name CIA1 so that name exists in the my drive as CIA1. Now in the right you can see share button. Once you click on the share button, you can able to share this particular Google sheet with your friends. So that here I can able to give their name and I can give a notify message and I can choose this editor and I can choose this editor option and I can click on this send. So that this particular Google Sheet can be shared with another one person like that a message displays so that they can also able to access this Google Sheet since that particular person may be the co-staff or the co-teacher for the subject for this class. So the second question also we have completed and the third part is to insert the chat. So what I'm going to do is I can just select the range. Select the range and I can click on this insert chart. I can choose insert menu and chat option or I'll see here insert chat icon is available. I can click on this insert chat icon button so that chats can be inserted like this. This is a range that I have been collect selected that is from D8 to J17 this is the range that has been selected. If you need, you can also add another range. For example, if you know, no, don't want the particular ranges to be displayed, you can just remove so that the subject, everything goes and only the student name and the percentage exist. So you can see this is the uh, percentage and the total that exists. You can also uh, select that particular <coughs> customizer by giving the chart style. Chart axis and title. You can give the title everything or title font. You can customize over here and you can give the legend also. Everything you can able to customize in this chart. So this is the chart and if I need to change this particular column chart, I can also give. That is from this I can able to see this particular student percentages like this. Stacked area stuff I can give. And I are also can able to give this uh, pie chart like this. I can able to change the particular chart type what I need. Anything I can able to customize and I can include in this uh, particular sheet by inserting the chart option. I can also able to drag and move a particular to a particular location where I need. And the last part of the question that is being asked for us. To download in a PDF, XLS, or in CSV format. So after go after completing this particular file and inserting chart and doing some simple calculation and sharing this particular file with my friend, and I can go to file menu and choose on this download option. That you can see various options like Microsoft Excel dot XLX dot ODS open document format dot PDF dot a web page html comma separated anything so for the demo purpose i'm just clicking on this dot pdf document so that this particular sheet will be in the pdf document giving this as export as a current sheet only one sheet i'm going to export so i'm just click on clicking on this export button and you can see this message downloading pdf see this pdf has been downloaded and i also can open it and I can view that PDF. See, the, in the particular mark statement has been included in this PDF file and it has been downloaded. And another option is to download it in Excel, Excel file. So I'm just clicking on Microsoft Excel so that that particular file opens in Excel. is opening I can able to resize this chart also if I need I can resize it's opening meanwhile I can also able to download that uh, comma separated value also these three options are asked in the question 
So I am uh, downloading it in the three different format and I will show in this demo. See here it has been opened in Excel. I am clicking on this enable editing option. See it has been opened in Excel. This is actual Excel sheet and you can also able to view in this Excel all the different options of chart, total, percentage, etc. And the third option is .csv. As you know, it is a comma separated file. It will also be displayed or open one in Excel. But you can able to view the difference between Excel sheet <coughs> here that has been represented in the tabular column. But then here it is a comma separated file. It just only you will have the values. So these are the three different options. There is a question that has been asked in 18 question for us to download in various format. So in Google Sheets, we are going to create a simple Excel, sorry, simple calculation by using an uh, internal mark statement and by sharing it and by giving a chart for the different data range values and we are downloading that particular uh, sheet file when PDF or an Excel or a CSV. So these are the different options that can be available in Google Sheets. So thanks for watching all the Internet Basics video series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.